On this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, we're going to dive in, folks, and look at Week 17, a loss again for the Panthers to those dreaded New Orleans Saints, 18 to 10. Before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Pound that like button, hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And hey, folks, leave me some comments. I love the dialogue, even from a couple of you nasty Saint fans. All right, folks, it's in the books, week 17. And if you go back and look at my preview video and prediction, I told you that my heart really felt the Panthers could win the game. I had picked like a 17 to 14 Panther win. One point in the game, I felt pretty good. But I said my head knew better. I knew as bad as the Saints offense was, the fact that Ian Book didn't play and they brought out Taysom Hill. And I just had a feeling that the Saints would somehow get it done. And I had picked the Saints for a 20 to 10 win. Well, they won 18 to 10. And if it wouldn't have been for a botched extra point, well, I'd have been one point away. But anyway, going in and looking at this game, you know, we kind of start out like we do. Hey, Cam Newton only plays one play. Kind of hurt his hand in the process, didn't really get anything done. And Sam Donald looked sharp early, but it's not good enough. And, um, you know, the line let him down, folks, once again. I mean, it's just atrocious. And all the sacks they got, some of the sacks you can blame on the line. Some was a missed assignments, you know, running back, not picking up a defender. And they just put so much pressure on Donald. He just got ate alive. And it's a shame because early in this game when the Panthers had a, a uh, I believe it was a 10-3 to lead, um, and he took a sack, held on to it too long, and he fumbles the ball. And you can't really blame our defense for giving up a field goal to make it 10-6. to Of course, New Orleans gets a field goal before half to make it 10-9. to At this point in time, I felt like, well, if the score can just remain equal the rest of the way, we'll win. But it wasn't going to be the case. The Saints go into the second half. They get a field goal, making it 12 to 10. I had a hard time knowing how the second half of the Panthers. Folks, the offensive coordinator, whether it be Joe Brady or the, or the, the Nixon guy we have now, Matt Rule, somehow at halftime, these speeches or whatever, the, the adjustments just aren't there. Or this is as bad as when Rivera was here. Just adjustments are not being made. And it's It's sad. Um, we did get a chance to get a field goal. We, we kind of shouldn't have got closer. I believe it was a long field goal. And this backup kicker uh, misses a kick and to put us up 13 to 12. I think it really took the wind out of our sails because when it was 12 10 at that point, you missed the kick. Your offense is struggling. The defense did everything they could to hang on. Uh, there was a point there for a while the Saints were teetering on the chance to, when they took that lead the first time. And then they punted and, and, and kept our uh, offense in tow. and We couldn't move the ball, and we just got pinned deep. It became a game when we were winning 10-9 a field position. And then eventually we broke, gave up enough of first downs where they kick a field goal and take a lead. But we just couldn't muster anything after that. Missing the field goal as we got to the end of the third uh, just showed me that we just didn't have enough in the tank. You don't score anything in the second half. You're not going to win. Of course, New Orleans does finally, after three weeks, gets a touchdown. Um, but, you know, they bottled up the run game, folks. They really did. And Kamara didn't have a good game, but he had the one run. He had the one run, and, of course, they got in the end zone. It was enough. They botched the extra point, but they go up 18-10. to 10. Panthers weren't going to do enough and after that. I knew that we got down and had a chance to maybe, you know, get – with the scoring strike that we had to have a touchdown, it just wasn't going to be enough. Um, you know, I, my hat's off to some of the defensive players. Shaq Thompson played well. Uh, some of the guys did play well. Burns was okay. Uh, Hassan Reddick was more quiet than normal. Uh, but just just not enough to get it done. Miles Hartfield, if you had hands, man, the interception would have taken three points off the board for New Orleans. It could have made a big difference in the game because if we could have kept it where it well, like I said, at 10 to 9, maybe, you know, maybe just maybe our defense has enough will to stick around in that game and win. Uh, saying it, we were out coached. Uh, our, our defense made enough big plays against our woeful offense. 
And our defense played well, but just gave up uh, that, especially that one touchdown to the Saints' woeful offense. So we lose the game 18 to 10. And there's not much else that can be said, but once again, we uh, could have swept the Saints and didn't do it. So, folks, what do you think of today's video? Do you think Carolina's coaches, we need to make some type of adjustments here because nothing's getting done offensively? Or what do you think about the defense? Because it seems at times they're playing good enough but can't finish the game. And it's probably due to this offense not really being able to put any drives together and keeping them off the field. Leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And by all means, folks, it's free. Subscribe. Help Uncle Chucky out. I will see you next time on another episode of Carolina Sports Guy.